Right, we're live. Hello, it's Peter here at the Simply Good Food TV Kitchens. It's lunchtime. Yesterday, I promised I'd be cooking some beautiful tuna. Let me just move that up a little bit. Uh, I said I would be cooking some lovely fresh tuna. Okay, so I went down to Booth, my local supermarket, and bought some beautiful fresh tuna. So, I have got my grill getting really, really hot here. Um, and you should be able to see it's just starting to smoke now. Yeah, definitely hot enough. So let's go back to our lives. Okay. So, tuna steak for me, really meaty, really delicious. Bit of a treat. Um, very good for you. So, I've got the steak here, and I'm actually just going to use this bit of a worktop as a top here. So, I've got a little bit of oil. We're going to oil the fish. Not the grill, okay? Because the grill is really lovely and hot, um, and we, if the minute you put oil on there, it's going to, you know, blow into smoke and all sorts of stuff. So, I bought some seaweed, which I'm using more on these days for seasoning instead of salt, and, and particularly with fish. I mean, it's a great, it's a great combination. And then some pepper. Now, this is all quite quick, which is why I've done it live, um, and I thought, you know what? Perfect thing for lunch. So, on the grill, okay? Plonk it down. There we go. And leave it. Don't touch it and don't fiddle with it because it's really, really important just to let that thing sear and get some lovely color on it. Okay, so while we're doing that, we'll get everything else ready, okay. So I have got some, actually, these are sweet potato and buckwheat noodles, which I thought were quite interesting. So I've used those. We're going to make a dressing, okay, so I've got some delicious Apache chili vinegar from Wormersley, who are good friends of mine, and they create a great product. So a tiny little bit of soy, because I don't want the dressing to be really dark black, but I want that sense of, of soy that it brings to it. Some rapeseed oil, okay, and then we're going to go in with some lime. So I'm going to zest the lime first into the dressing. Okay, and then I'm going to put the juice of half the lime, because I always save the other half to squeeze on top of the fish, okay, because I just love that finish that lemon or lime or something like that gives fish at the end, no matter what you're making. Okay, so, that is our dressing. So we're gonna, all I've done is cook these noodles in boiling water for about four minutes. And I'm gonna put those straight in. And then the noodles, they're still quite kind of porous, so they're still kind of sucking up flavor. So it's good to do this sort of warm. I wouldn't say you need to cool them down too much. Right, I'm just going to turn that down because I can see that tuna steak is cooking really well. I've got some cashew nuts. I'm just going to sit them on the grill and kind of toast them up, all right? And then we're going to add some... Right, let's move things around so you guys can see the best. So, spring onion. Chop that off. I'm going to cut halfway into the white, about that far, okay? And then I'm going to slice it. So I'm kind of all into this kind of raw and cooked at the moment. I find it delicious and it feels good. You know, it feels quite healthy. So, in with the noodles goes a big spring onion, okay? I've got a radish. I'm just going to slice it really thin because I think it's going to give a really lovely crunch to it. Right, I'm going to turn that tuna off over. Right, those cashews are toasting nicely. Let's just Flip this tuna over, okay? There you go, look. Beautiful. By not touching it, it just means that it gets a really lovely caramelization and that means flavor. Okay, so slice up the radish. There we go, into the noodles. Right, apple, seems quite weird, but bear with me. The sweetness kind of works. Toasted cashew nuts straight in. Just lovely crunch. And I think this dish is very much about textures 
You want lovely textures in this. So that's why we've got a little bit of raw apple going in. So you get acidity, but you also get a little bit of sweetness, but you get crunch. And that's what we want. Lovely crunch. Okay, so half an apple, straight in. And then half a mango. For me, mango would work really well like this. So all I'm going to do is peel it. Okay. And I want that kind of sweetness about it. Okay. So we'll get rid of that. I'm actually going to lift this tuna off now. Just sit it there. That is just that is as cooked as I want it. So it's a little bit pink in the middle. So I'm just going to fingers flat on the mango and up. So you don't cut yourself. It just means that you can cut it really thin. Okay. If you can't cut it with a knife like this, use a grater. Works quite well. It's not quite the same, but it works well. So, in with the mango. There we go. So we've got lots of lovely flavours. So I'm going to hit it with two more things. A little bit of chilli. Not mad, and it's not hot chilli particularly. Okay. So a little bit of red chilli in there. And some fresh ginger, just to give it a bit of bite really, um, but not heat. You know, I think ginger, especially this time of year, I mean, it's, it's January um, and you're still kind of craving freshness and vibrant flavours, I think, particularly after Christmas. So all we're going to do is just chop it really, really fine. If you're going to do it raw, it needs to be really finely shredded. Otherwise, you just get really big hits of heat, which is not what you want. You want that kind of lovely gingery, fiery flavour, but you don't want big heat that's going to kill everything else. Okay, so, chop that up nice and fine, that can go in. Okay, so let's give this a really good mix. Okay, get all those flavours, I mean, it's so colourful. I mean, look at that. Let me, let me just crop into that for you. If I just show you this, I mean, look at all those beautiful colours, flavours, textures. It's going to be awesome, this dish. Really, really pleased with that. Okay, so last thing I want to add, fresh coriander. I just think it just will bring this whole thing to life. And it just adds that kind of fragrance and energy to a dish. And it's delicious. Okay, straight in. That's it. Okay, we are done. So, that is super quick. It's all ready to plate up. So, get my plate. Give this a good mix. Make sure that coriander runs all the way through the whole dish, okay? There we go. Oh, it smells amazing. What I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna use a pasta spoon, okay, just to try and get everything on there, because I want a little bit of everything here, okay, and then I'm going to grab some of all the other bits, so we've got some mango, some apple, some coriander, there we go, all the elements, basically, we've added to this, just to make it taste really beautiful. And then what I will do is just crop in here so you can see the tuna. So I'm just going to carve it nice and gently so it's, it's pink, which is how I want it. But if you don't like it pink, it's okay. You cook it exactly how you want it. That's what's more important. Okay. So what I'm going to do is just scoop that on top there. There we go. And for me, with all good fish, as we finish it with a little squeeze of lemon or lime, lime in this case, there we go, and that is going to finish it beautifully, and then just a little touch of rapeseed oil, kind of just makes it nice and silky and lovely. But that is my seared tuna salad, and that has got fresh mango, apple, um, it's got buckwheat noodles in there, uh, loads of coriander, lime, ginger, chilli, cashew nuts. It's just 
beautiful flavours, really, really good. Okay, if you want more recipes like this, download the app, Simply Good Food TV. It's a free app to download, it's full of recipes, um, and we're going to continue to try and create something delicious to spark your imagination, to get you in the kitchen, cooking some fresh food. All right, I will see you soon. Let me know if you want any other recipes.